Hi everyone. Uh, I just wanted to uh, just send you this quick video because I want you to bookmark a couple of uh, websites that I want you to uh, be familiar with before our um, class tomorrow. Um, and the first one that I want you to bookmark is called photosforclass.com. Here's the website here. Um, I'd like you to go to this uh, site and bookmark the site. Uh, in uh, whatever folder you've made for our class. And this site is going to be uh, invaluable for you because as we're starting to make more creative websites, uh, we really need to make sure that we're using uh, images that we have permission to use and to publish. So this uh, site actually filters all of the images that are on Flickr or other um, um, image sharing sites that uh, people have indicated can be part of the Creative Commons. So these are safe for you to use uh, in your website. Um, they're uh, free for you to use. So um, anyways, I want you to um, bookmark that. The second website I want you to uh, bookmark is uh, called Pixlr. Now, uh, you can go to the regular Pixlr site, which is just pixlr.com, but really I want you to go to this web app, and here's the uh, address for that. So it's apps.pixlr.com slash express, express slash. Okay, so I want you to go to that site, and I want you to um, just bookmark that site. Okay? And now what I'm going to show you is a couple of steps that I want you to do before next class so that we can get started right away on uh, using Sublime Text. Um, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to your desktop, and I want you to create a new folder, okay? And I want you to call it web page one, okay? And I want you to open the folder, and I want you to create a new, uh, another new folder inside of that, and I want you to call it web images, okay? And then you can close that, okay? Then what I want you to do is I want you to go back to those sites that you have bookmarked. And I want you to go to Photos for Class, and I want you to search for one uh, food item that you really like. So I'm going to say cupcakes because I really like cupcakes. And I'm going to go click Find Photos, okay? And a bunch of really delicious pictures of cupcakes come up. And that guy, which is weird because he's the a guy who... Um, um, invented the first MakerBot 3D printer. I don't know why he's under in this cupcakes. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna choose um, this one's really cute. So I'm going to I'm gonna click on and I'm gonna download it. Okay, and this is kind of I'm not sure if you have to do these steps, but these are the steps I have to do on my computer. So it comes up at the bottom that's downloaded. I'm gonna open it, and it opens into this. Um, it opens into this photo gallery um, app. So I'm going to just close that because now I can I know that it's in a downloads folder. And uh, where I find that downloads folder, um, let me just think. You know what? I'm just going to search for it. Downloads. can't remember where the folder is. Here it is. It's in my documents. Okay, so my documents and downloads. Okay, and these are all the stuff that I've downloaded. Uh, I don't know in the last year. Okay, so I've chosen. I see the one that I want. Okay, I'm going to uh, cut it and I'm going to put it into that folder that we created on our desktop into uh, web page one and then inside web images, okay? I'm going to put it in there, okay? All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to just close that, okay? And I'm going to go back to Pixlr, and I'm going to click on Browse, okay? And I'm going to navigate to that web images folder, okay? I'm going to choose that cupcake photo, all right? And Pixlr is just like uh, an online kind of Photoshop, so you can do lots of different funky stuff to it, okay? 
But the most important thing that we're, you're going to need to do for your web pages is to make sure that your uh, images are uh, the right size. Okay, you don't want something that's like 900 pixels. Well, 900 pixels would be okay if you want a full page because a, the size of a web page is about a thousand pixels. But if you want your uh, web uh, images to be smaller, what you need, or if you want to crop something out, okay, here are all the um, different effects and adjustments that you can make, okay. I'll let you play around with that if you want, but the most important ones that you're going to need for uh, creating your web pages is the crop and the resize. So I'm going to just click on resize, okay. And it's already checked as keep proportions down here, and that's what you want to do because otherwise you're going to squeeze out your um, you're going to squeeze or stretch out your picture. So you want to keep your proportions. And say I want this to be 300 pixels width. Okay? I just changed uh, 300 width and I click apply. Okay? I also see that when I uh, downloaded this picture, it gave me this little black um, uh, attribution. So it's saying this photo is from this. Okay? From this site. You could keep that if you want. Um, that's a nice thing to do for the person who took the photo, but it's not necessary. So I'm going to go to adjustment and I'm going to go to crop. Okay. And I'm just going to click and move my, I'm going to crop the bottom of my photo. Okay. I'm going to click apply. All right. And then I'm done with that. Okay. And I'm going to save it now. Okay, and it gives, it, this was the file name from before. Okay, and I'm going to call it, because I want to name it something. I want to keep it all lower caps. I don't want any spaces. So I'm going to say cupcake underscore girl. Okay, just so that I know what it is. And then it, uh, it um, tells me where I want to save it. Okay, and just because this happened to be uh, where I got it from, it should come up. But you might have to navigate to web images on your desktop, and I'm going to click Save. Okay? And that's all you have to do before next class. So bookmark those two sites. Find one image of a photo from that Photos for Class uh, site um, of a food item that you really like. Download it. Put it into that folder on your desktop. Resize and crop it um, maybe to 300 pixels and uh, save it into your web images folder. And that's it.